Hi guys, welcome back to The Coal Factory, it's Raquel. Today I'm gonna jump right into the video and share with you guys my journey on length and really how I would say I got delivered from the obsession of length. I was obsessed with the length of my hair for two years, from 2015 to 2016. Those two years of my life was consumed with hair growth. And that is linked to accepting shrinkage and accepting, you know, the fact that my hair shrinks. Right now, and I've been saying this for a very long time on my channel, my hair is waist length. And I think my hair is a little bit longer than waist length at the moment, but this is what it looks like. And I really struggled after my big chop and I would constantly pull my hair to see how long it was and it would spring back up and I, constant, I constantly felt like why can't my hair make me be great and I really went back and forth with this relationship of frustration with my hair. I never compromised on the health of my hair and I know a lot of times people are constantly comparing health or length. I had a, a wash day routine. I was doing everything right and my hair was healthy, but my hair just didn't show any length. And I guess today I just want to share with everyone who's struggling that I know exactly how you feel. I went through a stage where, and again, this was 2015, 2016, where I was like, I wish my hair could just sit on my neck. You know, that was my goal. And then I was like, okay, I needed to sit on my shoulders. Okay, I got there. And then I was like, I at least want my hair to be down at least by my breasts. And I'm not there yet. It's 2019. And I constantly struggled with shrinkage. Many of you might say, many of you have said to me in person, like you really have nice hair. And I guess it's, it's a personal journey and each and every one of us struggle with different things. But going back to the years of 2015 and 2016, where I was completely obsessed, and I'm going to say obsessed, I constantly thought about how can I get my hair longer? How can I grow my hair? What can I do? And this literally was an obsession. And I'm happy to say that I am completely and totally delivered. I really don't care about the length of my hair. And it doesn't have to do with how long my hair actually is, but how my hair looks once it's a 100% dry and curly. That's what I was struggling with. The length of my hair and how it looked when it was curly and it was dry. Which you can see my length. I can stretch it, you can see my length. But I struggled with it and as you guys can see now, my hair just sits past my shoulders. It's not even down to my chest level. And it's 2019 now. And in my years of 2015 and 2016, I did almost every single growth method that you can think of. I took biotin, I did the inversion method, I massaged my scalp with oil four times a week, I mixed every single oil you can think of, I googled everything. Um, you guys know by my channel that I do have a lot of knowledge, but I researched like I've never researched in my life. When I was at university, I never researched the way I have researched natural hair. And part of it was just all about my transitioning process and then I focused a lot on length and how to grow my hair. And as I said, I did everything. Biotin, if somebody said to me, oh, 100 MCGs, I looked at you like you're crazy, I'm on 1000 MCGs. This went on for two years. And I would say almost nobody knew this about me. Nobody knew that I was going through the struggle of length. And I really was. And at the end of 2016, I remember I bought Biotin and I would buy Biotin for a year. When I was in South Africa, I would go to uh, the natural store in Sanson City and I'd buy my stash of Biotin and I'd bring it back with me. And I remember one day I, you know, put the Biotin in my mouth, I drank it and I was like, I'm done. I was like, I am done with this hair growth. I was like literally fed up. I had done every and everything in my power and it was literally me giving up on the length journey that basically stopped and delivered me from the obsession. And 
you know it's 2019 now at the beginning of 2019 and where I am right now I don't want to see another growth aid I like have had enough I have done so much guys and it that doing everything so much so quickly and just being so obsessed and involved in that growth process I've completely tapped out of it but what I want to say or what I want to share with you guys is if you're struggling with length I've been there and I know how you feel it's about embracing your shrinkage and I think that I have many days where I still look at my and I'm like why can't you why can't you make me be great like what is with all the shrinkage and again it has to do with acceptance of accepting um you know your kinky curls and stuff which are absolutely great but i think many of us can go in and out of acceptance i do accept my hair but i do have those days when i want to do something and my hair doesn't really want to do what i want to do but going back to the length what i want to say to you guys is you're not alone in the obsession of length and even if you're not compromising your health, if you've got tight curls like me, you've got kinky coily curls, that's a sign of amazing health. And your journey to accepting your shrinkage and accepting length and not obsessing on length is a journey that you will overcome. Know that um, the curl factory's been there, Roquel's been there, and there is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, once you kind of really just embrace the length that you have your hair will continue to flourish and i know that society has put you know consciously and subconsciously ideas in our minds of what length means and we look at other curly girls and we're like wow i wish my hair could be like that but you know what i say this all the time god didn't make any mistakes your hair is as kinky, as curly, as coily, and as wavy as it's supposed to be. So as you're on this journey of obsess obsessing over length, don't worry about it. Your hair is growing. Your hair grows every month. Your hair grows every year. And continue to focus on your health. Continue to focus on the health of your hair. And as you can see, some of you, your hair might look longer curlier than mine. Mine's of a waist length hair and I thank God, I literally thank God from delivering me from that obsession of length. I know, I know, I know where you are on your journey if it's you. I know how you feel. And what I'm trying to say to you guys is there's light at the end of the tunnel. Stop stressing about the length of your hair. Stop looking around. Your hair's perfect the way it is. And one of the most important things is your hair is growing. And since you're so worried and so concerned about length, that's what I'm here to tell you, is your hair is growing. And that's about it for this video, guys. This is something that's very personal to me because I really remember my struggle and I hope that the message I'm trying to convey to you guys really does come across. Don't stress, don't worry, your hair is growing. And it's all about healthy hair. And I have days, not a day, but I have days where I think about the length of my hair. I do. And it's something that, again, mentally I keep telling myself, it's okay, your hair is growing, your hair is long. And what I do is I usually stretch out my hair at least once a year, you know, just to remind myself and give myself my own little pat on the back and be like, your hair is long. Because it is something that is a part of me. And I do stretch out my hair once a year and it's for me. It's for me to know how long my hair is. Even though I can't see it, even though you can't see it, it's just for me personally. I don't use heat on my hair, you guys know this already, but when I am kind of feeling iffy about it, which is usually once a year, that's when I usually just, you know, I'll blow dry my hair using the tension method. I won't like fully stretch it out. And that's my fix for the year of seeing how far I've come, knowing that my hair will grow, knowing that every person in my life who told me, your hair will never grow. Your type of hair doesn't grow. Your hair will only grow bra strap length and then it will stop growing. And on my journey, every person in my life 
who sees me after they haven't seen me for a long time are like wow oh my god and all I'm doing is practicing healthy hair habits I'm not doing anything special I don't have a special um, a hair care wash day routine that I haven't shared with you guys I'm not taking any vitamins that you guys don't know I'm just practicing healthy hair habits that you guys know I'm 100% transparent on products you see all the reviews you see my comparison videos you guys really know what's up when it comes to me as well as my hair and I think I'm just gonna end this video here guys I just want to encourage you stay strong stretch your hair out if and when needed don't do it every month okay but i really have been on a journey that most of you are on i have struggled and i do sometimes do struggle with blend like most of you do don't compromise the health of your hair keep it healthy and i promise you it will grow and i'll just do my usual at the end of the video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for sharing this time with me this really is a video that I hope a lot of you watch because this is one of my most emotional videos that I've ever done. It might seem weird to a lot of you, but length is really something that I struggled with. Follow me on social media. You guys know the drill already and I will see you again in another video. Take care.